But let's get it together on logarithms. Yeah. So on a problem like this, this is a very special problem because on the previous two, what I worked with, I worked with using roots and with using negatives. Guess what? This one deals with both of them together. Isn't that cute? So here, remember, whenever you have something on the bottom, you can put it up top, right? Now, actually, first of all, before I'd say that, let's get rid of the root. Let's change this to a exponent. So I'm going to write this as, instead of, remember, this is square root, that can be a 2 there, and that's a 1 up there, right? Because remember, square root, we just usually don't write the 2 there. <laughs> I'll still blow up. Your battery's gonna die. Yeah. Your battery's dying. It's okay. I have the most random things to do. It would be like the funniest. We should keep it up. Oh, weather for Jackson. Hi, baby. Alright. So remember, on a square root, that's the 2 up there, and my e has the 1 power. So I can now rewrite this as 1 over e to the 1 half power. Alright? You guys have to understand how roots and your exponents are related. Why'd you put e to the 2? You don't have any clue, you're right, thank you. Um, then, the next thing we talked about is whenever you have something on denominator, to put it up there as a numerator, you have to have the opposite, it's gonna be negative now, right? Because I showed you guys one over x, same thing as x to the negative first power. So now I can rewrite this as ln of e to the negative one half, right? Now the thing you guys need to remember is when dealing with natural logarithms, this is already to a base e. We don't write it in there because that's the only time we use natural logarithms is when it's to the base e. So e raised to what number gives you e? One, right? You guys should always know that e raised to the e power um, equals one. Well, there's a couple ways you could do this. You could bring this negative one half in front and have ln of, ln of e. Well, I know ln of e is one, so therefore my answer is negative one half. You can also just use the rule that whenever you have ln of e, that cancels out, and you're just left with whatever the exponent That's is, what which is negative one half. So it doesn't matter. You can use this rule and evaluate, or you can just use the rule that's in the book that just tells you ln of e raised to that power is just going to be that your exponent. That's easy. Okay, that's it. That's like logarithm blitz.